So for me, uh, it's all about energy, um, forms, create different patterns. It's about the mystical, it's about the spiritual also, of course. It's, uh, and hidden, like what I'm doing in my art is bridging the conscious of the hidden and the unseen uh, with, with the visible. That's where art is for me, it's a bridge, a uh, combination of photo, of painting, of concept art and also of it intuitive way of painting. So for me, being an architect and being um, into photos, for me it's like I just photograph, uh, um, I, when I, I just paint something you can't photograph. For me, Hawaii is a it's like a living prayer. For me, Hawaii is such a great culture. It's, it's not just the outside, like you see the palm trees and beautiful scenery. For me, it's, uh, it's ancient wisdom stored and still in a lovely culture about the singing, the chanting, the Hawaiian, the hula, and, and the work with land in a way of um, and how they build old temples and how they they feel responsible in their hula, in their architecture that that we bring peace in, in a way of how we live and how we create. And I like to play with light. Yes, you can have it light like this. Or you change it to make less than another atmosphere coming. And so it's I love to play with light as a, something for consciousness uh, of uh, what yeah what do we love what what we need right now maybe a bit more slow down or we want to bring the gold the brilliance into our life so we can play it's a living painting also what was great when i was in hawaii i was just painting there two weeks and this, it, it's just an energetic feeling. It's just like in two weeks, I paint so much. I get into my jeep, I'm ready there, and get my colors and paint canvases. And then I've had three shows in three different galleries in just two weeks. Those are Darwin scalp. So for me, it's like symbolic for our ancestor line and uh, where humanity will go in the future. So for me, in allowing the the old stories coming up of ancient cultures, it helps to what can we bring into this life as benefit and where we go in the future. How much we, as we know, we have all the, all humanity come from South Africa. So maybe, it's all, and we have it all in our cells, in our history, in our records, in our, in our body and I feel Art is great for understanding cultures and bridging and bringing hopefully more peace into the world. And yeah, so that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, for me, um, I'm bridging um, the concept of being an architect and design things. Um, in a, like how I design spaces, but also I use the subconscious in a way um, like like the old temples, the Mayan temples, the Sardinian old places. So for me, uh, sometimes I think of an ancient place and then I, I paint colors and people feel something and they get this energy of this place. So for me, uh, our consciousness is architecture, how we are designing our life. We are an architect of our destiny in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I have a whole series of paintings, nude paintings of men and women, and they all have no head. This not, doesn't mean that they are dead. It's all about, um, I want to focus more on the wisdom of our body. And wisdom of our body is aligned with our subconscious. And we think when we, um, and it's for me also like a, uh, like an impulse, people are much more in the head in modern lives. For me, it's an invitation to go more, feel your body, and go more with your belly feeling and and um, your emotion, your energy, and so. Uh, and for me, it's all about healing in a way. For me, uh, when we focus more on our senses, our body, 
we nurture ourselves more, then we are also a healthy person. And for me, healing is also one of my subjects and my paintings. And especially, um, I studied uh, New German dance a few years in Hanover. So for me, dance, body wisdom, it's, it's ground. And it's really important. That's why I have, I have this man with a head. Yeah, I think um, I love to, to play with colors, with architecture, with, um, with forms. Uh, and, and even more bring a statement to the modern world what, what we really need from the ancient that we lost in a way of, of the wisdom of the soul, of our health, of our connection, of universe and earth. So I feel uh, how can modern art or modern architecture benefit on the, on the humanity? Yeah. It's about Berlin, it's about Brandenburger Tor, it's about using transfer technique, photo and paint. It's about conceptual art and intuition. It's about it's both bridging the both. And interesting is these women came out in, in the process of developing this painting. And for me this women stands for uh, um, burning now in a way of of what happened in the past but where we go to and where we go to a really dynamic and uh, yeah, dynamic future.